Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. This is one of the important lecture which is on eigenvalue. So, what is eigenvalue? Eigenvalue is basically a scalar lambda, lambda, which when subtracted from all the elements on the principal diagonal, then the determinant of the matrix becomes zero. Well, what I want to say here, if there is a matrix A, okay, and if we subtract A minus lambda i, okay, then find and if we find out the determinant of it, it will become zero. Okay, so this lambda is called eigenvalue. Eigenvalue, okay, so what do we understand by it that one important conclusion which we can draw here is as we are talking about principal diagonal and we are subtracting lambda from each element on principal diagonal so this eigenvalue exists only for square matrix Okay, it exists only for square matrix. Now, for example, let's say we will take a 3 cross 3 matrix which is A11, A12, okay. Now, if we have to find out the eigenvalue lambda then we will subtract lambda from each principal diagonal element and we will equate this we will find out the determinant of it okay and then we will equate this with zero so the simple method of finding out this lambda is equal to this lambda simple method of finding out this lambda that is eigenvalue is subtract this uh, a lambda from each element and then solve the determinant okay so this is called characteristic determinant or equation characteristic equation which can be formed here like for 3 cross 3 we can write lambda q minus beta 1 lambda square plus beta 2 lambda minus beta 3 so if you remember it is alternative plus minus okay and then this is lambda q as it is 3 cross 3 so it will come after solving you will get this equation equal to 0 fine now what is beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 that we have to remember so if we remember we can directly solve the problem okay so here beta 3 is very sim simple just remember beta 3 is very simple it is equal to determinant of a okay original matrix original matrix okay so you will find determinant of a that is your beta 3 is done now what is beta 1 beta 1 is also simple okay I'll write here beta 1 is equal to sum of the sum of the principal diagonal that is trace of matrix okay that is a11 plus a22 plus a33 now this is let's come to beta 2 this is little uh, important or not important I mean this is a little bit uh, tricky to remember so what you will do to remember beta 2 once you have to take this matrix so you will have to basically take 3 minus okay 3 minus so what will be these 3 minus first of all in first minor you will forget this okay so this will be your first minor okay a11 now in second you will forget this okay so this will be your second minor and what will be your third minor you forget this and this okay so whatever is the remaining this will be your third minor right 
let's do it what we are doing basically once we are forgetting first row first column then second row second column third row third column okay so first if we forget first row first column well, let's start with this last row last column so it will be a11 a21 a a12 a21 a22 okay this will be again if we forget first row and first column it will be a22 a23 a32 a33 fine oh, it's quite tiny but i'll tell you in separate place so beta 2 we are discussing beta 2 is a11 a12 a21 a22 first minor then what will be the second minor a2 second minor we are first minor is this okay this second minor is this and third minor is this 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 fine so you can make a separate note as i'm making it dirty so it will be a22 a23 a32 a33 now this will be equal to a11 a13 a31 a33 okay so this is beta 2 so you can directly calculate <coughs> put this value here and directly calculate the value of lambda okay you need not to go to solve these determinants and form equation and all okay if you remember this beta 3 is equal to determinant of the matrix beta 2 equal to this long sort of expression which we discussed and beta 1 is equal to trace of matrix then you can directly solve the eigen value <coughs> directly go and find out the eigen value of the determinant okay so i hope this is clear next we will discuss example on solving eigen value okay so one most important property which i would like to discuss here is this is very important i'll just show you example on this also so the first important property is if we have for example for 3 cross 3 matrix if we take 3 3 cross 3 matrix we have 3 eigen values okay so the sum of eigen values sum of eigen values is equal to trace of matrix trace of matrix okay that is equal to a11 plus a22 plus a33 fine and another important property is that <coughs> the product of product of eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the matrix so these are very important property and you can solve the problem directly using this so I have just a simple example here for solving for finding out eigenvalues so I'll just take it was asked in gate gate 2008 for civil engineering branch okay and the question was that they were given a matrix P which is equal to 4 5 2 minus 5 okay and they were asking the eigenvalue of this matrix and the option they were given it was minus 7 and 8 B minus 6 and 5 C it was 3 and 4 and T 1 and 2 okay so these were the option so if you know the properties you can directly solve this as the determinant of this matrix you will go later but determinant you can simply calculate that it is equal to minus 20 minus 10 which is equal to 30 okay so you know the determinant now what you will do 
sum of the trace, sum of the trace is equal to minus 1. Okay. Trace is equal to minus 1. So now you will check from this option. So if you sum this, it is equal to plus 1. So this option is not, if you sum, this is, the sum is not minus 1 in these three cases. Sum is only minus 1 in this case. Okay. So you have only one choice left and you can directly say that this is the answer. Okay, no need to go for further calculation. So this this two property is very important. Even if you find out if you have to give uh, to find out the eigenvalue, okay, then using this property you can check with whatever result you have got after your calculation whether it is correct or not. Okay, so I hope this is clear. See you in the next lecture. Thanks for watching.